Hi guys, how's it going? This is uh, Jacob Robertson with a review for iloveitspicy.com and today we're going to be looking at another sauce from Feisty Parrot. This is the Savage Beast Hot Sauce. Uh, on their little feather scale here they rate this one as savage whereas the other, the uh, Demented Canary, was just feisty I believe. Uh, packaging, cool packaging on this I really think. Uh, yeah, sort of cartoonish label uh, like an arrogant phoenix rising from the flames our savage little hellion has soared in to unleash a perfectly matched blisteringly exquisite blend of two of the world's hottest peppers the ghost and trinidad scorpion so cool little bit of packaging uh, the ingredients are carrot papaya celery onion apple juice from concentrate cider vinegar lime juice water tequila Ghost pepper, garlic, Trinidad scorpion pepper, salt, spices, and xanthan gum. Um, the uh, peppers in this are fairly low on the totem pole as far as ingredients goes, which uh, is probably right considering I think these are meant to be more of a table sauce uh, and not really sort of your extreme heat, high, you know, blisteringly hot kind of things, despite what the label says. Uh, let me give this a little pour on the spoon. Really great color and texture on this sauce too. Um, bring it up. Ah, I just poured that all over my screen. Let's try it like this. Nice orange, uh, orange color with reddish flake on it, and uh, really good looking. I'm actually going to pause the video real quick here. Clean this off my screen. And we're back. Apologies for the technical difficulties there. Uh, I just didn't want anything dripping down on the keyboard or anything but uh the aroma on this is really nice uh great mix of sort of the onion and papaya uh, bringing their characteristic sweetness to the table and then backing it we get this sort of fruity gar uh fruity uh note from the peppers um really sort of fragrant the apple cider uh comes through the vinegar and uh in the back we've got sort of the uh uplifting uh, savoriness of the garlic I think something that really backs up all of these more assertive flavors um, yeah really wonderful little uh, scent on this one giving it a taste you hit pretty immediately with a fairly scorching heat uh, especially for a table sauce um, it's really getting my mouth watering um, this is not a sauce, you know, for the average consumer, so to speak. This is definitely more oriented towards chili heads and um, the extreme heat fanatics. Uh, heat level on this is probably about an eight as far as, you know, non-extract sauces go. Really some pretty impressive heat notes coming out of this. Uh, the flavor, pleasantly fruity, uh, really nicely balanced too. I really love this one. Um, the flavor seemed to pop really well. But at the same time, um, there's some nice subtlety, some nice nuances to it. Uh, you get sort of the floral notes of the Trinidad Scorpion peppers being backed up by the more citrusy, uh, slightly bitter notes of the ghost pepper. And uh, the carrot and the papaya and the onion all really sort of smooth it out, make it an enjoyable, uh, palatable experience for the tongue. Um, and that's something that's really hard to pull off, I think. Uh, not a whole lot of people get that right. But this one, it's come very, very close to getting it perfect. Um, really, really great, impressive sauce. Uh, I think... I don't really know where I'd improve with this. Uh, it's not perfect, but maybe, um, other than maybe... I don't know. Maybe making the peppers just seem a little bit more apparent. Um, I'm not going to give it a 5 out of 5 just because it doesn't wow me, but the balance in this is really pretty excellent, so I'm going to have to give this one a 4.5 Flaming Hearts. Um, I said it stops just short of like knocking me off my feet, but it's a very technically proficient, very hot, uh, very impressive sauce overall. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned. I love it, spicy .com for more of your fiery food reviews. Thanks, guys.